Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to be talking about JavaScript functions. So there's two ways to um, declare a function in JavaScript. So we can have, we can declare the function keyword and then give our function a name, so double. So let's just say we want to, um, this function will return uh, some number multiplied by itself. So double five. So this should return five times five. So we're passing in this number 5, we want to somehow reference it within the function. So we'll give it a variable num. So return num times num. So in this case, 5 is being passed in. So num is equal to 5, so return 5 times 5, and we get 25. So this is what's called the function declaration. We're uh, using the keyword function and then giving our function a name. We can also create a, um, an expression, so var double equals function. So <clears throat> functions can be treated as objects in uh, JavaScript, so we can actually assign this function to a variable. So double is now equal to a function, and it returns uh, the parameter times itself, just as it did before. So if we run this code, it should work just as it did before, and it does. <clears throat> Um, so this is two way, these are two common ways that you'll see people uh, creating functions and calling them. Uh, so now let's create, let's do something interesting with a function. So let's say we wanted to take an array, one, two, and three, and we wanted to return an array with each number uh, multiplied by itself. So in this case, one, four, and nine. So let's let's try and do something like this. So we'll create a function and we'll call it um, doubling. So we'll call doubling with an array of one, two, three, and four. So let's make sure four will actually give us 16. Okay, so what we wanna do now is for each number in the array, multiply it by itself and store that result somewhere. So we'll create a new variable within the function, var result equals an empty array. Uh, so this variable is being declared within this function, so it's created, um, it's locally scoped within this function. So we actually don't have access to result outside of the um, scope of the function. So for example, we can't do something like this now. So we'll actually get an error if we try and get it because result is not defined. Uh, so that's just one thing to um, make sure you pay attention to when writing functions. Um, functions are, um, variables are locally scoped within, are scoped locally within functions in JavaScript. So this variable is being created within this function, so it's only accessible within the function. On the other hand, if we do something like var a equals 2, we can, we do have access to a within this function. Um, the, um, so we could do something like a equals 3, and now we can print a, and we get Oh, whoops. Oh, we have to call the function. So if we call doubling, now it's equal to 3. So it was 2 originally, and then we set it equal to 3, and then we print it. Uh, this works because A is uh, declared in the global scope, so every function has access to it. So that was just a little quick side note, so let's get back to our function. Whoops. Okay, so now we're going to loop through the array being passed. So let's give it a variable name r. And now for each where i equals 0, i is less than the length of the array, i plus plus. So now what we want to do is in result, so push a new value. So we'll return array of i times array of i. So what this is doing is array of i is actually accessing each element within the array. So it accesses one, two, three, and four, it multiplies um, the element by itself here, and then it pushes this value into result. Uh, and it does this for each element in the array, and then we can return result. So we should get one, four, nine, and 16, and we do. So this is a, a more interesting example of what functions can do in JavaScript. Uh, in the next uh, video, I'll be covering loops and a little more complicated logic uh, in JavaScript.